A few months ago, a black widow spider moved into my yard. These spiders are poisonous, and some people have a pretty bad reaction to being bitten. I also read that they are very reluctant to bite, and generally not aggressive. They make these irregular webs, which are really surprisingly strong. They live in areas with brush and garbage, kind of like what I've let accumulate here. I decided rather than eradicate the spider to keep it in my home for a while and observe it. I really was surprised at the strength and resistance that I felt from the web. It wasn't like a regular spider web that you walk through and it kind of just wisps by you. This had some strength to it. I had to use a little force to wipe it away. I wasn't quite sure where it was hiding. It was pretty apparent immediately that the risk here was more to harm or injure the spider than it was for me to be bitten. The spider's legs were very thin and delicate. This was a female the males are smaller and have a different coloration. The females are shiny black or very dark brown. They have a large round abdomen. And of course they have the iconic black widow red hourglass shape. The males are about half that size. They're a medium brown and they have cream color markings. The enclosure for the spider is pretty simple. I included this upside down can to give her a place to hide, and she spends a lot of time in there. Today she was hanging outside for some reason. She set about building a web. Soon she had the entire inside of the jar pretty well connected with her webs. The Black Widow is delicate and shy. She really hates bright light. As far as caring for the spider, I don't have much to do. The spider's diet is insects that get caught in the web. I've been feeding her crickets which are plentiful around my yard. The little white dots on the bottom of the jar are the spider's feces. I tried to film the spider actually catching a cricket, but that proved to be extremely difficult. The complex, thick, mass of sticky web works to ensnare the insect, but the spider doesn't really do much in terms of intervening until the insect is very, very tired out. It fights the web to a point of exhaustion. Eventually, of course, the spider does go and retrieve the insect. She wraps it up in webbing and hauls it inside the can most of the time, but here she was eating it outside. Maybe eventually I'll be able to film her in the act. She really only likes to hunt in the darkest hours. Keeping this Black Widow has given me a greater appreciation for these spiders. 
She's beautiful to look at. She also exhibits otherworldly patience. I'm not someone who would handle a black widow spider because their bite can send you to the emergency room. However, here in this jar, she seems happy enough to let me observe her so long as I drop in a cricket every week or so. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.